Interesting, Verdum just released a, a statement saying that USADA asked him to snitch. I know. What's going on with the snitching stuff? I don't know. They offered him uh, a lean, more lenient sentence if he was willing to snitch, and he goes, "Fuck you." I love Verdum and John. That too. And then I guess John was like, "Cool." <laughs> I don't know. If John, I don't either. But you, that's what they're saying. I, I don't either. Hear John snitched. Did you hear John snitch? That's 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 what the statement says. But John's manager says that he didn't snitch. What statement from who? The statement just from. Give me a come on, bro. <laughs> his manager. Did you just give a skeptical hippo face, dude. But no, I'm not saying John did. Let's be very clear. All I'm saying is he came out that statement, and then uh, Malky goes, "He didn't snitch." And then everybody's uh, like, "Wait, N- what?" Novitsky, <laughs> Novitsky was like, "No, you said you're gonna give us some info to help us out down the road with other people." So, you know, I don't... What? Yeah, the, USADA had to release an official statement went, hold on. Wait a minute. Because Mal came out and was like, no, we never agreed to say we we're going to snitch. And then USADA's like, well, well, no, remember? Remember the contract you signed? Here's this section of the contract. You, they said they would help them out in the future with other people. I mean, but bring it up, Jamie. Before I just... John Jones, world champion, walking around wearing a wire. Hey guys, uh, <laughs> hey, my guys. creatine just ain't working. God, everyone else, anyone else, just exhausted today. You guys are just so ripped. You got What's your secret? <laughs> you got anything, bro? Why are you in a full hoodie and sweatsuit in the sauna? Yeah, I don't. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I don't think that John cheated. I don't. Uh, you I don't, don't think he cheated? No, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It's very I, murky I might be waters. Wrong. I might be wrong. I don't think he cheated. I think he took something that was tainted. I think that's why they're only giving him a year off. And I think, look, I'd said it on the podcast. You don't have any before. skeptical hippo eyes about how no. it's shortened sentence. It's ready to go right around New York. No, right around the CSPN deal. This is the explanation the, is sort of right here. Malky says there was none. But I keep saying that, and everybody keeps running with it. Substantial assistance doesn't necessarily mean it has to be on somebody else. It could have been on himself. What? So go up to the part this that you saw to said. Right here. That's what USADA released, that okay. statement. USADA said there are two avenues, blah, 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 anti-doping policy, allow for reduction of sanctions. One, an individual can get a sanction reduction. If he or she provides information that results in USADA or another anti-doping agency bringing forward an anti-doping policy violation against other athletes or support personnel, and or two, a reduction can be given if the information results in a criminal or disciplinary body bringing forward a criminal offense against individuals. Importantly, if the athlete or support personnel fails to continue to cooperate and provide credible substantial assistance, USADA will reinstate the original sanction. That's snitching. Where I come from, but I don't know. Now, I don't think John snitched on anyone to get a shorter sentence. We'll find out if Jackson guys are popping left and right all of a sudden. But I don't think John did that. I think that's just in there, maybe. Maybe. Or, or, or if, I don't know. We, right. we do not know. It, and I like to give John Jones the benefit of the doubt. And I will say this. If I'm a UFC fighter, I am hiring Malky to be my goddamn manager. Because what he's done with John, what he did with um, freaking all his guys, what he did with uh, your boy, Yo Romero, he goes to bat. For them, no one else is fucking with the golden snitch like Malky does. Yeah, and everyone else kind of just goes, "Ah, oh, fuck, we we got busted, man." Not Malky, man. That dude's going to the end of the earth to fight for your freedom. Yeah, he he, and it's. I don't like know his... him that well. I don't know him as a person. I'm you know managers or managers, but I'm saying if I'm the UFC because they can't negotiate your sponsorship, it's Reebok. So right. what can they really do? Your contract, and now you got to deal with Usado, who's a huge deal. Right. Malky is this fucking dog right now that you want in your back pocket. And it's interesting that Usada has just released, like, they released a statement that they're changing their policy. So say if you piss hot, they don't, and what's re- really interesting is Sean O'Malley right afterwards said, yo, I pissed hot. He said they don't want to announce yeah. that people pissed hot. He goes, I pissed hot. He goes, let me tell you something. Um, they're going to check my supplements. <clears throat> And uh, we, we think we've got it nailed. We think we know what it is. But in the meantime, this is why I was removed from the fight this weekend. So they're not going to announce it. They're just going to pull you from the card. They're just going to pull you from the card. That ain't right. And they don't announce it. That ain't right. And then they go through the entire steps. And then if you're exonerated, you were never accused in the first place. See, the problem is, is with your Sean O'Malley, whether whoever you are, Travis Brown, whoever, name any fighter you want. If you've ever been, if it's even been hinted, if you've ever had an issue um, and you get that label, nothing, like people just go, he's on steroids. Right. They don't For do sure. a big announcement going, sorry, we didn't find anything, my yeah. bad. 
we sorry, hey Josh Barnett, sorry you've been out for twenty two months. My bad. Right. What the fuck, man? Right. Give me some sort of compensation. That's true. Right. Also, you, so it took you how long to figure this out? I can't work during that time period. Right. And because of you, I can't work. And so you how made are a mistake. We gonna, how, and you made the mistake. How are we going to make this right? right? Oh, I bet. You can go fight now. Yeah. That's insane. Especially for Josh. He's like 37. He's not young. Or how about for- I think he's that, actually older than 37. Josh might be 40. Yeah, he's not. He's long in the tooth. He's been doing it for a hot minute. Yeah, I mean, he was- But think if you're John Jones, though, dude. Right. Let's say, he, let's say you're right and he didn't do anything. Nothing on purpose. And it was some bullshit- Supplement, and he's been dragged through the mud, up, rightfully so, after hitting a woman pregnant and all that. But with this, that's a different thing. Though. That's a different thing. Yeah. With this, you're like, what the fuck, man? Right. I I, I could have fought Brock Lesnar. I could have doubled. I could have been living DC's life. But because of this, I've been out. I've been my name's been tarnished forever. Yeah, but there was something in his urine. There was a a substance, and that substance is a performance enhancing substance. Yeah. The real question is, did it come like, there's a lot of people that got it from supplements. I mean, this is happening all throughout sports, but then there's people that say, no, they're saying that it happened from supplements, but really that's just an excuse for, what, people for them think. getting popped. That's what most people think, yeah. yeah. The majority the, side with that. The problem in John's situation is that he tested negative, and then he tested positive, and then he tested negative in a very short period of time, which means the, the amount that was in his system is a trace amount. Which is not anything that you could take mm. that would impart performance enhancing benefits. No, they said it like having a drop of steroids in a huge vat of yeah, water. Right. And like that's it's not going to benefit him. It's not now, now benefit some him. people, and not me, man. I'm I'm with you. I, he, maybe he did take something that he wasn't supposed to, but I don't think it helped his performance. But um, some people say, well, that he was microdosing, so it didn't get it out of his system in time. That's why it's such small trace amount. But at the time, if they would have tested him, been a higher potency, mm, maybe. I don't think you can microdose this shit, though. I have no idea, Joe. I mm -hmm. don't know. Yeah. But but listen, they said he didn't do it. Here's the <laughs> shitty thing, though. Now DC's upset because they're like, hey, DC, we're going to strip you of one of your belts, and John's going to fight for it. DC's but they like, haven't worked that, that out fun. yet. Maybe that's, what that's they're why to. the Gustafson-John Jones situation is still hasn't been resolved yet. Ding, ding. We're going to find out this weekend. <clears throat> you think? Let me see out the card. Yeah, I think this weekend they'll have to announce. They have to it's announce something. It's a fucking month away, man.